In this video, I wanted to share with you a really easy way to straighten the horizon of your 360 photo and change the center point of your 360 photo using the Hugin software, which is completely free to download on Windows and Mac. So let's get started. The first step is to download and install the Hugin Panorama Photo Stitcher. So visit the link in the video description and you will land on this page. Then go to download, click get Hugin now. And then in five seconds, your download should begin. And it will begin downloading over here. And once it's finished downloading, just click it to install it. Click next, accept the license and click next, next and install. Click yes, click finish. And now you have Hugin installed. Then find Hugin in start and click Hugin to open it. And you now have Hugin installed. So this is Hugin and the only two tabs we are concerned about is the assistant tab and the move and drag tab. And the first thing you need to do is load your photo. But before I do that, I'm just going to show you the photo I'm going to use. So I'm going to open up the GoPro VR player so I can show you a preview of the photo. And I'll just drag and drop it. So over here you can see that the front of the photo is actually the back of the London Eye. But what I want to do is show you the front of the London Eye first. And if I turn it on its side, you can see that the 360 photo is not level. So what we're going to do in Hugin is level this 360 photo and change the center point to look towards London Eye. So let's load the photo in Hugin by going to load images and click in London Eye unedited and click open. So here is the 360 photo. So we can see that this fast track is in the middle of the 360 photo and the London Eye is at the back. So we're going to change this so to do this, go to the move drag tab and to put the London Eye in the center of the 360 photo, hold down shift on the keyboard, click on the photo and drag it to the left until the London Eye is dead center over here. So now the London Eye is in the center of the 360 photo. So now we need to straighten the horizon of this 360 photo. So to do this, I'm just going to click and drag the photo up until it looks straight, which looks like about here. And that's it. Now we've corrected the center point and we've corrected the horizon. So the final step is to export the 360 photo. So to do this, go to the assistant tab and click number three, create panorama. And Insta360 cameras take a 6080 by 3040 resolution photo. So I'm just going to change the width to 6080 and just click the height and it will automatically change. I'm going to change my export format to JPEG and change the quality to 100 so we don't lose any quality and click OK. So now it's saying that it needs to create a project before it can export the photo. So let's save this project and I'll just save it as London Eye and click save. And now I'm going to save the new photo which we're going to export and I'll save it as London Eye edited and click save. So now Hugin is going to do its thing and start working on the photo and exporting it. And now it's done. So I'm going to open up GoPro VR player and let's take a look at the new photo. So this is London Eye edited. And now we have the London Eye, which is now the front of the 360 photo. And if you look towards the side, the horizon is now straight. So now you know how to straighten the horizon and change the center point of your 360 photo using Hugin. 
I hope you found those tips useful. Leave a like if you did and don't forget to subscribe for more awesome 360 tutorials and definitely check out my brand new shop called Best 360 Shop which offers high quality 360 camera accessories. And the reason I started this shop was because I was tired of buying camera accessories online which break really easily and cost a lot of money. So I decided to start my own brand of 360 camera accessories so that you could spend more time filming and less time worrying about the safety of your 360 camera. And anything you buy from the shop is going to help me provide you with more awesome video tutorials. So thank you for your support in advance and I'll see you guys in the next video.